Hi guys, we're back now and we're going to do uh, a drawing of the lighthouse. So you have to draw your lighthouse first before you paint it. So I'm just going to make mine a little bit big so you can see it because uh, this should be probably far away but I'm just going to, uh, to draw it out and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a line to where I want to start my lighthouse, just a little line and then I'm going to use a ruler to bring my lines down and get them nice and straight. So just take your ruler and go at the end of that line and then just, you don't come exactly straight down, but you come down on a little bit of a diagonal. Okay. See, and there's your line up there and then take your ruler and come down on another little bit of a diagonal. Okay. There we go. Don't worry about the bottom. We can put rocks down there or anything at all. So first of all, I am going to show you how to, to shadow it. So I just have blue and white and black on my palette right now. And what I'm doing is I'm taking a very small flat brush. It's just a very small flat brush. You can use any small flat brush that you have on hand. Just something that's comfortable for you. And what you want to do is you want to take a bit of blue and you're going to put that blue on on the left side where well, I'm going to pretend that the sun is coming in or some kind of light is coming in from the right so we're going to put and now when you get to the line here be as careful as you can if you have any problems with that then you can put actually put green tape your ma mess your tape uh, on the side like this if you want to just to tape it off so that you can stay inside the line so let's just try our best stay inside the line if you end up going outside the line it can easily be fixed um, we just go back to the sky color and then take it out but get that on as best you can just take your time there we go so this is why you need a really small skinny brush don't use a round one use a flat one that way you get up against that line and you can use your brush on the chiseled edge and bring it down once you get that over here then you're on your way and also when you get over here you have to be careful too so now you can just put that in there like that there we go now this doesn't have to be perfect blend because it's just a shadow so I just put some white paint on my brush my dirty brush and I'm just gonna put some white on here and I'm just gonna put that right next to the blue okay and then I'm just gonna go back up and down so that it blends with the blue and it gives a kind of a shadowy color on, on that uh, left side isn't that nice good clean your brush off a little bit so we can get more white so some white now we have to be careful on this side also there we go all the way down all the way down we need to get rid of that line too we'll do that now in a minute let's just get some of this in here first blend that in with your blue it's more white get up against that line Gotta have a steady hand. If you don't, use the tape or something to steady your hand. Okay, so we're just getting right up against that line. Okay, take it out. So you can use pencil, draw it out, or you can use chalk. Chalk is good because you can always wipe it off with a damp uh, clean brush okay so let's keep going here with this and then we will certainly get that much done first and then what I'll do is I'll come back we'll do that'll give you a chance to, to work on that and when you get that done then you come to the next step and then we'll do the rest of the lighthouse. So I know it's a short one this time, but I'm going to, uh, the lighthouse is a little bit tricky. So I'll see you in uh, 
the next step. Okay, now we'll continue on with our lighthouse. And uh, what we'll do is we'll extend this line here, this line here on top, extend that out a little ways. Get your pencil, just extend those lines out. And then bring a little line up and out to the right, and a little line up and out to the left, and then draw it over to meet the line. And what we'll do with that is we'll take our little brush that we used, and a little flat brush, you need a small brush so you can control your hand. And we'll paint that black. Let's just paint that in so we can have that out of the way. So here we go. Just paint it in best way you can. Try to keep your hands steady. I'm sitting down so I find a for the video it's a little bit awkward but I'll do my best for you. So just paint that in your black. And be your top. Here we go. All right, so I'll just leave that as it is there now. And what we'll do then, we'll take our pencil and we'll draw. This line continues up to here. So draw another line here and another line here. Same width as your lighthouse. Okay, and then you just join those two lines together. Good. And now you draw another line up here and another line up here. And this is where your light is going to go in here. So it's another little box. And then you're going to put a little head on it. That's what I call a little head. So I just put a little dot right in the middle so I can draw like you're making the letter A. There we go, it's a little top. Now, what you're going to do is take your little brush again, little flat brush, and you're going to paint, put a little tiny bit of blue on this side because it's the extension of the lighthouse. And then you put, clean off your brush a bit, get some of the blue off and dip into white. And then you put white on this side to meet with your blue, to give it that shadow. There we go. Now, maybe our little top part can be red just to give it some color okay so just put a little bit of red on your palette and then when you get your red on just getting my red here just take a little bit of red tap that in there pretty little top here lighthouse. There we go. And then what you're going to do is you're going to extend this line up here out to the right and out to the left to meet up with this line up here, this top of this box, and just go over to meet up with those lines and then make a couple of lines right here. All right. And what we'll do with that is we'll take our little liner brush and then we'll or your little flat brush, it doesn't matter as long as it's a brush that's really small. I'm going to use this little round liner brush and I'm going to put black paint on it 
And I'm going to paint those lines black. Now you can make, when you're, you take your time doing this, and then you'll, uh, you'll get your lines a bit straighter than what I got here. So you just go over the lines which are black. There we go. There we go. Like get straightened up here. All right. Now, in the center of that right here, we're going to put a touch of yellow and a touch of white. So if you're using the same brush, make sure you clean it off. There we go. I have a little light in the middle there. Good. You can also take your black paint and make those lines a bit darker. There we go. And then you can straighten these up. Now, and that dries. We'll put a couple more lines in there. All right, so what we'll do is we'll put a couple little windows in here. So just take your liner, your little liner brush and just touch and touch. And maybe we'll have a little door in the bottom here. Just touch that and pull down. There we go. little door. So what we'll do, clean your brush, put a little bit of white on your liner brush. Just put a little tap of white on the corner here. There we go. That'll make it look like the windows are set in. And because the paint was wet, smeared a little bit on me there. But uh, you can wait for it to dry, or you can have a steadier hand than me. I'm going to put a little bit of white on the edge of this one here, too, and on the top. There we go. So, if you take your time doing that, you'll get, like I say, my hand is kind of shaking a bit because I'm sitting in an awkward position. But you can take your time, and at least this will give you an idea how to, and you can have any kind of lighthouse you want. So you can look up some pictures on, look up some pictures on uh, the internet and pick out a lighthouse, and these techniques here will get you started. And we'll get that. Straighten away a little bit. There we go. So, if you want to just keep working at it until you get it the way you want it. And you'll have a nice little lighthouse. And I'm going to take a little bit of white and wipe it off on my brush, wipe it off on my towel, and just throw a little bit of uh, dry brushing under here just to give it like an old weathered look or something. Just bring it out a bit. Okay, so it's a little lighthouse and you can probably put a little little ball or something up here. It could be a flag, it could be whatever you want it to be. Good. Now what you can do is take your little flat brush again and put some white paint on it, wipe it off. We'll dry brush. Dry brushing means you put paint on your brush and then you wipe it off so that there's not much on your brush, only just a little bit. If that's not enough, you just put a bit more on and check it out and check it out anywhere you want. And then you can take it and dry brush out some, some light coming from the lighthouse. So you just take it and pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out. 
and just scoop it out there just so that it gives it like there's a light coming out from the lighthouse so we haven't got enough paint just put a bit more paint on there and scoop it out you can even have it coming out from the other side if you like and maybe you might want some more so keep doing it until you're happy there we go so I'm just going to put a little bit more here brighten it up a bit so if your dry brushing is not bright enough just add a bit more white paint that's all I think this is coming along fine all right and so we have a nice little now if you want to uh, you can do a second coat of paint on your little house up little hat up here I call it a hat <laughs> Just to brighten it up a little bit and if you want you can even put a little bit of a, a dab of red on your door just to just to give it some color just a little dab of red I won't do too much there So hopefully this helped. I just wanted to uh, experiment that time, but I don't like it, so I'm going to take my black. Well, this shows you that if you don't like something, just go back in with your original color. Okay. Go into your original color, go back in again so easy to, to fix things when you're dealing with uh, acrylic paint. Acrylic paint is great. So I'll let you do that and you can work on that. If you got any questions just email me or put a message on YouTube in the comment section and uh, I'll see you in the next video. I think maybe we'll put in some more rocks over here and some more highlights and then we'll be almost finished so see you soon